What's up YouTube? I'm back today with a new video for the truck. Uh, it's a simple mod. If you guys are following Instagram and if you're not, you're missing out big time. Uh, Instagram is the same as the YouTube name. Uh, what? <laughs> Everything diesel. So with that being said, today's mod is a quick mod. Uh, I'm doing it because it needs to get done. It's going to be a CCV, CCV delete, uh, which is what in the last video I showed y'all all it is. Uh, it's just a tube going from the side of the crankcase over down to the turbo. We're going to gut that out, take it out, and plug it up. I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do it. I'm also going to pop off the top of the cover for the CCV cover, pop that off, and we're going to gut out the inside of the filter and show you guys how to do that mod. So stick around, and you guys, I'm going to show you guys, walk you through it real quick before I actually start it, all right? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> all right, YouTube, so real quick, it's a simple, simple, simple job, okay? side of the crankcase here we're gonna pop this off follow it down pop this hose off back here it's a clamp down here a screw uh, screw clamp here screw clamp I'm not even gonna take this off just this bottom one take that off pull this guy out put the plug in put the plug in down there sorry get better angle put the plug in down here by the intake elbow and then up here is going to be the little filter. And then after that, we're going to pop off the valve cover. And I'm going to show you all how to gut that filter out real quick. All right. So this is going to be a sweet, simple, quick job. So I'll get everything in position. Um, and then we'll go. So real quick for this job, you don't need much tools. Any man can do this. You don't need basic tools. And you can get the job done. Uh, I got needle noses, channel locks, flathead, and I got my electric ratchet. We're gonna go ahead and we'll start taking this stuff off and then I'll show you guys, you know, how I'm putting it back on. So first thing I'm gonna do, uh, take off this bad boy right here. Sometimes you might have to lube these up. Uh, I did not because I put these on not even a year ago. So it should be good. So go ahead and slide that back. Wiggle that off. That's already done. Come with the, with the uh, what you call it? I got a bracket here because from the delete kit, it came with a bracket for it, so we're gonna take that off real quick. I can get onto it. All right. So we got that broken loose. I'm gonna spin this off my hand real quick. Make sure you don't drop no nuts, cause it sucks when you're trying to find them. Cause I had to do that before a few times. All right. Pull this guy off and don't forget where you put your hardware because it kind of sucks when you got to find you got to find where your stuff went all right so i'm gonna take this clamp off down here that connects to my elbow i'm gonna loosen this get that off in a good way if you have a problem getting off a hose a good way is twist it twist it right and left that way you'll break the initial torque off of it Whatever is holding it, you'll break it. So, oh, this is a perfect example. So, if you see here, so if you can see here, look at all that. Let me get the camera to focus. Yeah, I can't get it to focus, whatever. But look at all that oil. I, it smells like straight up motor oil, okay? Uh, it's sludge down there. Not sludge, but just bad 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 stuff you don't want this stuff getting into your truck okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the uh, elbow side down there I'm going to install the plug on the intake elbow get that clamped up and I'm gonna show you what that look like once I'm done okay all right I'm back so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this on this clamp ah, it's hot. I went ahead and put the clamps on they were being kind of stupid because they were in the wrong the clamps were on the wrong wrong sides so I'm gonna go ahead and get this bad boy tightened down, and then we'll be done with the with the delete for the CCV uh, filter. Well, not the filter, but for the I guess fumes, whatever, rotting. But then after that, I'm gonna pop that cover off, show y'all what I'm doing, and then I'm going to cut it. I'm gonna cut cut it out with my grinder, and then we're gonna go from there. All right. So real quick, I'm going to show y'all how it's looking, how it looks when it's done, and how I went about it. Sweet. All these lines are tightened up. All right, we good. So I'm going to show you guys what that is. So I went ahead. This is the final product. 
deleted that nasty filter so I no longer have crap going down into the turbo so what I did was the, the hose that was on this this fella right here I took the hose off this side I cut some off of it because I didn't want it too long and I just reused that hose it's not touching anything it's not gonna wiggle I even reused the clamp because I didn't want to I even reused the clamp because I didn't want to uh, what you call it put a one of these guys on even though it looks cleaner and I just put it back on and uh, yeah that's it really so it's plugged now so the intake's good that's good filters good so I'm gonna go ahead get the right side socket to take off that valve cover and then we'll be right back sweet so I'm back now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off take off your oil cap put that somewhere where you won't forget it because you don't want to forget to put that back on or can't find it when you're done screws that hold these valve cover on is gonna be eight millimeter I got it I got deep oil because the deep oil you're gonna need it for back there go ahead pop it off I'm just going to keep these here. So once you finish that, you want to go ahead and pop the cover off like such. I probably could have added that filter while it was off, but oh well. Move that out of the way. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the bottom. Uh, that's not what we're trying to get to. What we're trying to really get to is this. Okay. So you just grab the filter, pull up, and you're done. And this is super heavy. Um, I actually got an engine code. I got the perform service on the truck because of this. Uh, but yeah, we're going to gut it. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to cut here, here. Let's see, I'll show you guys. We're going to cut here, here, and the corners. Cut it out, move it. It's going to be paper on the inside. And then from there, we're going to gut the paper out, all right? I'm going to show you guys while I'm doing it, but I just want to let you know, heads up, how we're going to reuse this, this housing, because we need the top end. We don't need the bottom end of this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, get the tools I need, get you guys set up, and then I'm going to kick it off and show you how I'm doing it, all right? I got my stuff, I got my grinder, and I got my goggles on. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and show you guys the innards. All right, YouTube, I'm back. So, with this, uh, it was being, oh, let me say, let me get y'all in position. Shouldn't do that before. Uh, she was being kind of stubborn. Um, I almost got her off. I just wanted to show you guys how I did it. So what I did was I got my grinding wheel. I cut cut down the middle and I cut the four corners. Okay, all four corners. I cut and then I cut down the middle and then I get my flathead and I cover my flathead. And right here, these are the points that holds this bottom piece to the top. These pieces here, 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 and then I don't know what the other one is on this side, but those sides are where it's being held at. So you got to get in there with a flathead, go underneath, and pry. This ain't something that's just going to come out all willy nilly. You actually got to like put some, some force into it, you know what I'm saying? Once you get that piece out, once you get this piece out, you got to clean all this out, gut it out, get it cleaned up, make sure. There ain't nothing in there like these loose pieces. You want to make sure none of that stuff's in here. All right, get it all hollowed out. I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to get this cleaned up, and then I'm going to get y'all back so I'm not showing you boring stuff. All right, I'm sorry for the bad light uh, for it being dark out here. 
uh, yeah, probably could have, probably could have flipped the light. Let me see if flipping the camera over the other side is going to help. One sec. Oh yeah, way better. Much better. Okay. I apologize for that uh, hiccup. Still trying to get good at recording. Uh, I am a complete, I'm a rookie when it comes to this stuff. I'm not no uh, Photoshop, you know, Sony Vegas Pro when it comes to this, but I'm, I'm doing the best that I can, you know, I'm getting better with every video, so let me know if you guys enjoy it, if you think, think if there's ways I can improve the uh, quality of it, and such and such, so definitely, and this is going to help out a lot, once again, this is going to help out so much because it's going to be able to breathe better, all that fumes and crank vent, crankcase vents that this engine makes, it's just going to expel into the atmosphere. Now this filter is going to get oily eventually. Um, what I really need to do is what I really need to do is uh, what you call it? Get the I should have got a heater hose and just ran it down the side. But I just figured this would be good for now. You know, it costs a little more. The heater hose is probably cheaper, but it is what it is. So. That is it. That's how you do a CCV delete. You got this SOB, put the filter on, and then put the plug on down there. All right. Real quick. Always start. Always start up. Make sure there's no leaks and anything like that. Um, I'm just checking to make sure I didn't leave any tools anywhere because it got dark kind of fast. So last thing I want to do is have a tool somewhere where it does not belong. So we look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera. Uh, get the camera from the stand and I'm going to crank her up fellas okay be right back all right so I'm gonna go ahead and crank her up make sure there ain't no weird nothing funky going on everything looks good Bob. That's it right there. It sounds a little quieter actually. Maybe it's just my ears. Yeah. Shout out to the actual dump community. Heck yeah. That's a win right there, boys. Alright, we're back. I'm back. We're done today. That was the CCV Delete mod. For the Cummins, uh, not a huge, it's not a huge crazy mod, but nonetheless, it is a mod. So, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content I'm putting out. Um, also, please check out the Instagram because the Instagram has the sneak peeks and any type of giveaways I'm going to be doing in the future. It's going to have all the information there. So, check out the Instagram. I'll put it back here again, like I did in the last video. Check out my Instagram for this channel, same name as the channel. Um, what else? That's it, really. It's simple. It's a simple job. It took like an hour, a little over an hour. Um, I actually was going fast, but I got it done in, good, in decent time. So do it. Um, I spent, I don't remember how much I spent for the delete kit. I think it was like 30 bucks on eBay. Um, I'll put a link down in the video for it. But do it, man. Do it for your truck. Help your truck out. Uh, five nines don't have this problem because this was before the emissions crap came out. So do it for your truck. Uh, make your truck feel good. You take care of your truck. She's definitely going to take care of you, okay? So once again, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out. God bless. <laughs>